G'day YouTube people, today we're going to have a look at cafe bike parking at two cafes on the northern beaches of Perth. Yes, this was such a long ride that we had to stop for two iced coffees rather than just the usual one. Now the first place we're going to visit is, Burn, is in Burns Beach uh, and it's a place called Sisters. And nice little cafe this one, never been here before, but look at the bike parking. As we pull in here, there's four racks on the left and there's actually four on the right as well, which are out of shot. We'll see them when we're leaving. Now I've never been here before, but we decided to pull in here. So I did a bit of a sticky beak riding around to have a look at how people were parking their bikes. You can see there's a couple of e-bikes there um, using just parked on the grass using their kickstands. They don't need uh, uh, bike parking like we do. And uh, some of that crew had also just lent their bikes up against the fence. And you can see, you know, just casual bikes, a uh, mix of normal bikes and e-bikes. Now, you can see over on the right, there's a couple of uh, bikes in a rack there. And as we swing in here, you can see there's another bike rack with a privately owned e-scooter in it. So that's all good. Um, just to a note, that caravan kind of structure in, in front of us there in the screen, that's actually a toasty um, sandwich melt place, which is open a couple of days of the week. It was open the day we went there. It's interesting, didn't try it, but um, well, we're thinking about it. So as we leave, you can see the bike parking on the left and the right here. Plenty of it at this cafe. There's even more bikes lent up against the fence there. But there's two other things I want to show you as we head north. Now, the first is why so many parks and so forth around Perth are really clean. And that is because they have uh, rubbish bins absolutely everywhere. And every set of rubbish bins has got free dog poo bag dispensers attached to them. And you just don't see a heck of a lot of dog poo around parks and things like that. Anyway, here on the right, there's uh, there's more bike racks. And on the left, there's a drinking fountain. They're just everywhere. Anyway, the next place we went to was a cafe called Yellow. Again, never been here before either. But as you can see, you know, bike parking and, of course, the ubiquitous rental e-scooter parked across the road uh, out of the way. Now, Yellow isn't on the main drag, so to speak, down near the beach. We had to uh, climb this fairly steep hill to get there. It's uh, back a block or two in suburbia. Didn't, uh, yeah, haven't never been here before, never thought about pulling over, but we thought, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go today simply because we saw the sign on the way up. So nice outdoor seating area. Um, again, couldn't really find a menu, at, uh, or a good menu at this place either. Um, I mean, not a bad place to visit, but really, I guess not my style. But look, bike parking. There's a bike rack right there. Uh, that's all good. Then there's this weird construction there. And I was wondering, is that a scooter parking rack? It was taped off and I couldn't figure out for life me what the heck it was. Is it for holding golf clubs or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, why uh, ride up there? Well, because there's this fantastic shared path which goes for oh, tens of kilometers. We rode nearly 90 kilometers this day uh, and probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 kilometers of it would have been on shared paths like this. They do vary in quality and width from council to council, but uh, you know, around the kind of Scarborough beach area, you've got a lot of uh, paths like this. There's cafes uh, all the way along. You do have to watch uh, the cars coming in out of the car parks, but it's a really, really nice ride alongside the ocean. And on a day like this day, it was absolutely smashing. Um, it does get a lot of pedestrian activity, so you've got to take it easy and just be prepared to, uh, to slow down or, or stop and wait. But let's go back to the bike parking. As you can see, you know, plenty of bike parking uh, at these places. I might visit some more of the cafes uh, along the coast and check out their bike parking as well. Anyway, just trying to get across the idea to um, cafe owners and councils in New South Wales. You know, bike parking at cafes is a good thing. It does bring in the business and people tend to like it.